I'm gonna stop recording. Um, but yeah, we're playing more Power Justice, and um, yeah, um, if if you guys weren't here for Friday's stream, uh, I'm gonna explain why this looks weird, why my face looks weird, uh, why my stream looks weird. Um, basically, if you weren't here on Friday stream. Um, then you won't know that basically on that stream my um, My twitch studio wouldn't pick up my um, Would not just would not pick up my webcam and so I had to go camera list and I literally had to restart twitch studio to see if it would work and my thing um, My and then it just died like then my webcam my like webcam source in twitch studio died so yeah this this looks weird from my perspective i don't know about you guys because I, i'm now using obs I, i've switched i switched to obs earlier when i got home um because twitch studio man i could complain about twitch studio for a little while um but basically it was mainly down to webcam stuff that it just there'll be times where it wouldn't pick up my sauce and also with Twitch Studio. There'd be times where, if you've seen some of my other streams, as of the past few months, um, where it would, um, like it would uh, suddenly stop picking up my microphone or like suddenly change sources for no reason whatsoever. Um, and I don't know why. I don't know why it's just suddenly started doing that because it it never happened before I got my webcam. And I think it's just Twitch Studio being Twitch Studio because I tested OBS a little bit earlier. Um, oh, we are flipped. Yes, yes. Um, I'm gonna switch. Oh, right. Yes, we are flipped. We are flipped. Okay, technically we're flipped the correct way because on Twitch Studio, I would flip it horizontally. This is the correct way of how it should be. But on Twitch Studio, um, I'd flip it horizontally. But uh, now on OBS, I don't have the option to flip it horizontally. So this is how my camera would normally pick up, pick, like would normally like pick like video feed up. Um, but yeah, on Twitch Studio, I'll just flip it horizontally because I don't know why. Th this just looks weird. This looks weird to me. Th like it being flipped this way looks weird to me. So I used to flip it horizontally. Um, but yeah. It's my, I, I, I don't know why, but yeah, my, I'm gonna, my, I'm gonna turn my playlist up a little bit more. I, I'm still getting used to OBS actually. Um, this feels weird. This feels weird. Not gonna lie. Um, but I'm gonna probably still continue to use OBS for a while because of how weird, um, because just how kind of buggy Twitch Studio used to be. Uh, Twitch Studio has been, especially in like the past like few like months, like just not picking up, just sometimes breaking my um, audio, and sometimes just not picking up my webcam. That's like those are the main two reasons why I'm not <laughs> that I'm probably not going to use Twitch Studio for a while um, until they like break out an update, and then maybe I'll go back to Twitch Studio. I'm not sure. Depends how used I get to OBS, really. Um, so yeah. So yeah, you'll probably notice a few other changes as well. Like for example, the text on screen that says about the donation. Oh shit, I didn't, put, I didn't open up, mix it up. Um, I didn't open up, mix it up. That's why I forgot. Um, didn't didn't open up, mix it up. Um, that I keep, I just forgot. Like literally, right as I clicked start start streaming, um. I realized that I hadn't opened Spotify to put my playlist on. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, you'll notice a few other differences as well. Like, for example, we don't have the follower goal on screen. That's because um, Twitch Studio has like a ton of like pre made stuff built within it. While with. Oh, shit, I haven't done video of the week. I know, it, I know which one I wanted to add. I just forgot to add it. Um, but yeah, we don't have a follow follow goal on screen. We still have the follower goal. It's just not on screen. 
Um, that's because um, Touch Studio has like a bunch of pre-made stuff, while with while with um, OBS, it just you have to like use extensions or other stuff like um, Streamlabs to do like alerts and stuff like that. Um, you ha you have to use a ton, a ton of like you have to use like mainly Streamlabs to use. Um, to, to like make the chat appear on screen and stuff and um stuff like that and like the alerts and stuff while with twitch studio like there's our the alerts and chat are like already built into um the app so you don't need to like use streamlabs or whatever to or like added browser source to do the alerts and stuff and i'm gonna my brain is not braining because I'm just <laughs> getting the video essay of the week. Um, this week's video essay of the week. I remember adding this like the other day as well, and I was like, okay, I've got to add this to my um, gotta gotta add this to mix it up whenever I get home, and I just forgot to. I remember. I think I watched this on like Tuesday or something, or like Wednesday, and I just forgot to add it. Um, so yeah, this week's video I say of the week is The Simple Genius of Ace Attorney by Cool Guy. Cool Car Guy. That's the video I say of the week. Uh, so I am tempted, I am tempted to maybe one day, like, if I don't, um, if I don't, ha like, have a video I say of the week, I'll just, like, link my, um, video essays playlist, because I have pretty much almost every video essay i've like watched on my on this playlist i have 130 there's 130 videos on it and it's public so i think one day i'm going to um i'm going to add it i'm gonna like add it as a thing um when i don't have a um when i don't have a like video essay of the week basically um but yeah but yeah um I was gonna say, I don't think there's anything really else to say um, about me moving. Um, I don't think there's anything else for me to say, really, um, about me moving from Twitch Studio to OBS. Um, yeah, so today we're gonna be playing more. Um, we're gonna be playing more. Um, Apollo Justice. We're playing my House Uni. It, it's going okay. It's it's going pretty good actually. I think. Um, I well, I've I'm pre I'm pretty much almost done with two of my assignments. The two assignments that I drew at the end of March. Um, I have I think I have like two hundred ish words on one of my assignments to do. And then I have another 600 words on another assignment to do. Hope you're good. Nice. Nice be so much easier for your... For your other, the Twitch one, I bet. I mean... There's pros and cons to it, definitely. But, but you know what? But you know what? It has been, like, slightly better, actually. Because... It has been pretty better. Pretty much better, though. Because it's not cutting out my webcam or my mic anymore. Uh, OBS isn't cutting out my mic or... Why did I say anymore? This is my first time using OBS. But it's not cutting out my webcam or mic. It's not cutting out my mic like Touch Studio used to be. Um, so yeah, yeah, I'm good. By the way, Kai. Welcome on in. Welcome on in. Um, but yeah, I'm almost done with two of my assignments. Now you may be thinking, Poppy, why, why are you saying that 600 words isn't a lot? That sounds like a lot. Well, that's like... That's like two sections. I have an abstract which is basically a summary which is basically a summary which is gonna be easy that i think and then i have a discussion um then i have a discussion which is just like limitation like pros and cons of what you've just written basically so yeah that's and then i think we're doing and this is and this is on the research methods one this is on the on like a quantitative report and we're gonna get help with that next week and and yeah obs has OBS been around longer, they, so they have have it down to a T, so I think 
Oh yeah, that that's actually more understand. That's actually kind of understandable actually. I I not gonna lie, not gonna lie. The only reason I didn't start off using OBS like um, three and a half years ago when I first started streaming is that um, is that I downloaded OBS and I opened opened it and I looked at it. I was like, that looks too complicated. Never never touched it until now, and then. When when I when I was like first starting out, I opened Twitch Studio and I was like, less complicated. This looks this looks easier to use, and so I started using that. And then I I was using that for like three and a half years, and then now now I'm just using OBS because because it's just kind of like better. It's just better. I mean, the follower goals aren't great because whenever I've um it is confusing indeed. But once you have the hang of it, all good. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Like I did look at a few tutorials like earlier and it and I think it's just like me getting used to it now. It's just me like getting used to OBS now because I kind of have like my main things here. Um so yeah. Um I was gonna say Yeah, it's it's making the sauces and such. Yeah, I think the hardest thing was me um making a like a separate scene for all of my audio sources and then linking that to every single one of my other scenes that was like it that's like the that that was that's like the hardest thing and that took me like i think that took me like 20 minutes <laughs> like I, and i think that's just because of like how many audios like i put in because it was like i had to launch a few games um to actually like a few games i stream like decently regularly so i don't yeah totally with you on that yeah i had to open a few games that i kind of stream like decently regularly or like uh, decently regularly so that i don't forget i mean there are a few other games that i need to add to my um audio mixer like dark, Dece dark deception um super dark deception and um like roblox and terraria but i don't stream those as often as i stream like apollo justice or whatever and like the the games i have now on my audio mixer are apollo justice great ace attorney um minecraft monsters and mortals phasmophobia sims 4 and sticky business and those are the games that i plan to stream like in like the decently near future i just have everything come through desktop audio i'm that basic i i just kind of like having to being able to manipulate like all my audios like i think i have that with twitch studio i'm not gonna open up twitch studio because i don't know how that will fuck up my stream it probably will fuck up my stream if i open twitch studio twitch studio now um but i'm pretty sure i have on my have a ton of um have a ton of um ton of um games like just separated into their own separate audios on twitch studio it just makes me i just i just like having the separated audios um of different games just so I can easily manipulate them. Easily manipulate them. Hurrah! OBS all the way. It's really good. Welcome on in, Chicken Nugget. Welcome on in. Thank you. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it, is, it is decently good. I uh, quite. I, I understand why it's quite popular now. Because I, when I first started streaming, I was just like, this looks too complicated. And I just used Touch Studio instead. But now I'm just like, finally, I, I, <laughs> I stream in software that doesn't, you know break my art uh, my break my mic sauce my mic audio sauce or doesn't break um um or like break my webcam sauce or whatever well yeah i will admit i use street labs obs for dummies what what how dare that yeah how dare you i'm not gonna lie i use i use stream labs for alerts though <laughs> i use i use stream labs for the alerts and to put the chat on screen um not gonna lie, not gonna lie, my stream looks looks much more like crunchy on OBS than it does on my phone. So I'm gonna just say that the quality is fine. My stream has always kind of looked crunchy, and I think that I think the coloring is fucked up on my stream actually. Now that I'm looking at it, because you see that pillow right there, you see that pillow, that elf pillow right there. That's red, but it's coming up through OBS as pink. I, I need to dress around with the colouring because I did I did kind of mess around with the saturation before. And so this this um 
this might be this stream might be slightly more saturated not too noticeable but if you look there that's fucking pink instead of red and i am so i'm not really used to this being flipped i couldn't i couldn't figure out how to flip my camera horizontally horizontally so yeah because <laughs> i used to there's a flip horizontally like thing on twitch studio and yeah there are a few downsides to thank you for the luck chicken again but um yeah there are a few downsides to obs but overall it's better than twitch studio like for example the follower goals being like messed up when you put them on the screen and um not being able to flip horizontally but that's it but that's it anyways 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 i want to get into i'm off i must make din dins fair why, why are you having why are you having for dinner why are you having for dinner why are you having for dinner uh, yeah i need i'm going to switch over to apollo justice because we have from what i looked at uh, i think we have uh what two more parts left we have an investigation and we have a trial and the trial the last trial the second trial is not separated into two parts like the first trial was it's just one part so hopefully that doesn't take too long and um, yeah we have investigation and um here investigation and trial thank you for the lurk nordic welcome on in welcome on in thank you for the lurk um yeah hopefully oh, it's, not, it, it, it's actually it actually works it actually works i was kind of not gonna lie um i was trying to start the game capture earlier and i was like okay what the fuck okay what the fuck how do i sort this out because at first when i because i originally tested trying to start out i'm gonna put my phone in charge but i originally tried testing out um the game capture with minecraft and it didn't show up with like the it didn't i tried like putting it through like having um obs tried to pick up the launcher and it just wouldn't and it, it was either it wouldn't or it took me a few tries to try and um get it 